my name is Martin Germann and I'm working here in the SMAC as a curator. On the one hand, our collection is of course uh, the core, the DNA of the museum and we like to present it as much as possible. But then we use our collection also to contextualize exhibitions which are in the house at the moment. The first work is here from Lawrence Wiener. For Lawrence Wiener, language was not only information, it has also a sculptural value. Another work is by Nile Toroni. For him, painting is doing these dots in a distance of 37 centimeters from each other. It's kind of a new standard he established in the late 60s, a personal standard against a world, which, against people who, who felt themselves surrounded by norms and standards. Uh, you remember all these rebellions at that time, and it was also a rebellion against norms and standards. We have another work which refers in a way to that. It's by the, um, by the artist Royden Rabinovich. It has kind of a double, double standard. On the one hand, the room which immediately surrounds us, the architectural space, but on the other hand, especially this hanging thing shows that we are uh, part of larger crafts, part of larger contexts, like this very basic truth that uh, the earth is turning around the sun. It's a very early piece by Lily Dujury. It's neither painting nor sculpture because it leans on the wall, it is on the wall like a painting, but it's also on the floor like a, like a sculpture. In this room we see uh, mainly art which uh, is historically ma uh, uh, named as land art. It was also kind of an artistic counter-reaction to the, to, the, to the use and to the exploitation of the land, so to speak. And one artist uh, who certainly reacted on that was Dennis Oppenheim. And he invented uh, a couple of prototypical scale models for architectures, for ar alternative architectures which deal, uh, deal with, the, with, the, with the land. Another way to, to uh, work with our environment is uh, shown uh, in the art of someone like Hamish Fulton. For him, wandering, walking was kind of an artistic expression. Okay, here we have a, um, we have a third room of, of the collection presentation, which, uh, as you might see, is pretty empty in a way, but pretty colorful. Liam Gillick, uh, you see here, for whom art is somehow a communication vehicle, a communication room. Yeah, we, here we have a film uh, installation by the Belgian artist David Klabut, The Stack. And the only action which if you've seen the whole film, is actually the sun, <laughs> which is uh, uh, wandering behind these uh, highway piles. And so it, it, it's also a little bit connected to the very first room that we are part of something bigger.